What's good, y'all boys, man? I'm back with another reaction. Hey, man, I've been gone for a little while, you know what I'm saying? But I'm back. Hey, I got Mr. Beast, $1 versus $10 million job. Let's get straight to it. Off the bat, I see him in a Buccaneers jersey. Oh, Mr. Beast to the league? Oh, my goodness. No, that's crazy. But now let's get straight to this video, see what he's talking about. I'm about to work this $10 million job as a professional athlete. And I'm going to show you the difference between this and getting paid $200,000 to be an astronaut. This is insane. Getting paid $100,000 to dig up real dinosaur bones. Oh my god. And so many other jobs. Starting with the lowest paying job I could find, gold panning. That can make as little as $1 a year. But we're going to make a dollar? Statistically not. Basically, gold panners put dirt in this mechanism. And with enough shaking and water, all of the gold is filtered out to the bottom. There's no way. I don't care if you have the, you know what I'm saying? If there's a chance you could make $100 million. If they're saying the average salary is a dollar, you know what I'm saying? I'm not wasting my time in puddles. Do I look like a little duck to you? Swimming around, looking for a piece of bread that a human might throw over the... You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing that, bro. I'm not shaking dirt trying to get a couple pebbles of gold. That's crazy. But it's not very easy because after five hours of searching, I was definitely five? not rich. Oh, boys, I found gold. No! How much is that little nugget worth? That is two cents. Exactly my point. You could do this for a whole year and only make a dollar. But look two cents? You was out there for five hours and you made two cents? For us, we're gonna be working jobs that pay over $10 million per year. But first, let's see what it's like to work a job that pays $100,000 per year. Digging up dinosaur bones for a museum. Dinosaurs are fake. And yes, these are fake because they're all dead. So this is just one of- Dinosaurs are not real, bro. I don't care what nobody says, dude. Dinosaurs are not real. So you telling me that there was gigantic dinosaurs just back in the day roaming around bro i do not believe it bro you not i don't care all the bones were planted you know what i'm saying humans made the bones and they just planted them underground you know what i'm saying i don't believe none of that bro it's are these actually dinosaur bones no they are i've been here 17 really? years this is easily the largest bone that i've ever worked on in my career this is your thigh bone right here and it's over four feet tall for comparison here's that dinosaur next to six carls stacked on top like, of each other like be for real bro do you really think it was a whole bunch of these. Like, be for real, bro. T-Rex. Mind, I'm 6'5". These are mini jackhammers, essentially. How you doing it? He has no idea what he's doing. He has no idea. Now, this may come as a surprise, but we are god-awful at this. Whoops. Be careful. It took us five hours to make any progress whatsoever. But even with us holding him back, with the help of the expert, we were getting somewhere. This is easily the largest bone that I've ever worked on in my career. Making so a hundred... and Carl touch that? Making a hundred thousand doing this, I feel like it's not enough, dude. I feel like you gotta put your hard work and effort in, you know what I'm saying? Really trying to, you know what I'm saying, make these fake dinosaur bones look real. Like you really found, you gotta act like you really found something, you know what I'm saying? You gotta really act like you done found some fake, I mean some real dinosaur bones, even though you know they're fake. Like your grandpa probably planted them bones, and he was like, yeah, Zach, in about 30 years, I'm going to need you to go to this exact spot and find these exact bones and dig them up and say that you found a hereditary Rex. Like, no, bro. You're just making up stuff, bro. And you're only making 100K to, like, 100K to cap like that? Bro, you need at least a half a mil. I ain't even going to hold it. What if we messed it up? Josh, how much does this weigh? Probably going to be 2 two fifty Pounds? Yep. This is one-tenth the weight of Nolan's mom. Oh, oh wow. Now, because bro, this phone is so... He stayed talking about Nolan's mom, bro. I'm waiting for that one day that he just... Mm, just super uppercuts... Bro, he might... I ain't gonna lie, Mr. Beast. Jimmy, Nolan might hit you with the meanest uppercut you ever... You ever even seen, because I know you never got in a fight before. You're going to get hit with the meanest uppercut. Oh, my goodness. Some George Foreman shit. We have to cover it in a cast before we pick it up, or else it could literally break in half. Let's hope it doesn't fall apart when we lift it. One, two, three. Oh, yes. That is a mummified Good job. This is the first time any humans have ever carried this bone. Just a YouTuber carrying a dinosaur bone. Ugh. Front of the table. One. You see how they got it mapped out, bro? They remember exactly what they planted. 
Bro, I'm telling you dinosaurs are not real, bro. I don't care what none of y'all say in the comments, bro. They're not real, bro. You're telling me that there was T-Rexes and all type of... No, I don't care, bro. The closest thing that, the, that there will ever be to a dinosaur is an elephant, dude. That's all you're getting, dude. I'm telling you. I'll watch, I'll watch a video about dinosaurs after this if y'all want me. Let me know in the comments. But I'm telling you, dinosaurs are not real. This dinosaur bone did find its way into a museum. But because museums are boring, let's head over to the $200,000 job. Astronaut training with NASA. In my first mission, learn to drive the official lunar rover. This is what will one day be on the moon. Yeah, this is how we're going to get around the surface of the moon. Why are they letting me drive this? <laughs> Open the door! How do I work this thing? Push forward on the stick. Right now? Yeah, go for it. Push whoa, forward. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm scared. You're good. Oh, this I'm is scared. amazing. Go ahead and twist. To the right? To the right or left, I don't care. Oh my god, there are cars. Is this street legal? <laughs> uh, street legal around here. Oh, this is amazing. Why are we driving sideways? No, that's crazy. That, that's really... How do they get that on the moon? I figured out how to straight it yet. And even though I'm driving like I'm actually drunk, I still managed to get us to NASA's lunar training yard where the real test is gonna be. Oh, we're off roading. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh, this is getting bumpy. You're gonna let me drive it down this hill? Is oh, there seat belts in this thing. That's There's not a seat safe. belt we don't use right there. Though. Yeah, <laughs> they've got seat belts they don't use. That's that's helpful. Oh, oh, that's god. way too steep. Oh no way! Are we really going down? Can I get that seat belt now? Oh my god! Oh, Wait, we're going down the hill sideways. Stop it! No, no. Yo, what if it flips? Bro, they gotta relax, dude. Lift your hand so they can see I'm driving. I, he's actually like. I'll up? get up and let Nick. He's no, 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 sit there. No. Go sideways in the crater. Sure. What are you? Hold me, ripping? Carl. Hold me. Landon, I'm just gonna say it. You wouldn't survive on the moon. Uh, I reckon I could do it. Next in training, NASA showed me around their enormous space facility. Holy crap. Whoa. This is the second largest pool on Earth. Which I'll be what? honest, it just felt like they were flexing. Wait, 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 wait. Why NASA got a pool? I thought NASA was outer space. It's something they're not telling us, bro. It's something they're not telling us, bro. It's something they not telling us, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Why would NASA have that type of pool? I thought they were astronauts, not water knots. You learn something new every day. Especially when they showed me the space suit. As far as anybody's concerned, once you try on a space suit, you're an astronaut. But of course, there was a catch. When you go on a spacewalk, you have to wear a diaper. You're in the suit for 12 hours. Wow. There you go. Like an actual. You gotta wear a diaper in a space suit? Oh, so all Real them, adult all them so be smell careful. like this is a space walking artifact. Bag it's flown on the space shuttle Shit. several times. So real astronauts have worn this. Yes. Keep in mind that astronaut peed in this. Have you peed in this suit? I, not in this suit, no. Okay. What? <laughs> When's the next mission? What are you doing a, a year from now? I can make time. Okay, okay. And the final step of my training was the craziest thing I've ever done. They were going to let me touch. But like he about to do some uh some type of surgery. Dr. Beast. Look like he about to take my tonsils out. The move. Now, now, lean back into it because it weighs 9,000 pounds. This weighs 9,000 pounds? Hey, don't forget to like oh, and subscribe. This is the largest collection of moon rocks on display anywhere in the world. I can't believe they're letting us do this. You realize we're just a YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. These are just straight up on the moon. What rocks. are the odds you let me touch the Genesis rock? Zero. Yesterday, we dug up a dinosaur fossil. So I'm an expert in this kind of stuff. Can I touch it? No. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> this material here is actual wow. lunar soil. <laughs> no way, bro. You're actually touching the moon right now. Oh, that's lunar wild. soil. So that too has dirt from the moon and has not been opened since it came back. And since you haven't checked in theory, there could be an alien. Yes. Well, it would be the first from the moon. Wait. From the moon. <laughs> you guys are and after we found out aliens were totally real, we headed to the strat- Y'all think aliens real? I ain't gonna lie. I think I do. I think I seen an alien before. I ain't gonna lie. I was at this ice cream place, you know what I'm saying, on the south side, and I was sitting there eating my ice cream, bro. I'm telling you, it was the first time I ever seen somebody eat ice cream with their fingers. like. Buddy was holding the cone like, Buddy was holding the cone like this, mind you. Like, I'm saying, like, you know the ice cream swirled up. Buddy was going like this. I'm like, yo, what are you doing? Now that I think about it, bro, he was an alien, dude. Cause ain't nobody Here for our next that. job, where Carl and Nolan are gonna fly a plane. I've never flown a plane before. We have no idea what we're doing. 300K? The first day of flight training. 
I'm not they joking. Get money for like the boys that. to somehow fly a real plane, all they have to do is land one time in this flight simulator. All right, here we have our throttle. Pulling it back makes it go slower, just like that. Oh, what? Oh my God! And after Nolan crashed, ah! oh God! And crashed oh God. and ah! crashed. You crashed the plane? He eventually did land successfully, which, for whatever reason, gave him the keys to fly this real plane. Yo! I'm freaking out. Hey, if you can't do this, Nolan, please, for love of God, let them know now. This is like next level dangerous. Like, bro, you know all the things that could go wrong right now? Like, bro, he crashed 10 times in the simulator and he got it the he got it the 11th time. So he's one for he's one for 11. So he's about to probably be one for 12. See, I know Nolan trying to, bro. See, y'all can't be talking about Nolan's mom, dude. Oh my god, I'm gonna fly a plane. Oh my god. Right, here we go. As ready as I'll ever be. Full throttle. Approaching 60. Kind of wobbly, but uh, now just pull back a little bit. We're taking off. Hey. Oh, oh my god. god. Your life is in my hand. He is literally controlling this entire thing. Yes, he is. All by himself. Ambulance has never caused a crash, what? right? Uh, well. Watch this. I'm gonna turn right. No. Turn right. Oh, oh my god, we're sideways. I can't believe that I'm controlling this thing. Look, no hands! Stop! Oh, oh sweet Jesus! You yo, moron. yo! Don't, don't scare me like that, bro. I just got off an of airplane today, bro. I don't, I don't want to think that they just passing pilots this easy, dude. Because if Nolan's my pilot, next time I get on Delta, I'm going to be real mad. Because I pay, you know what I'm saying? I pay for Comfort Plus. When I pay for Comfort Plus, I pay $855 for Comfort Plus. And I got the middle seat, and I had two big girls collide and crash and sit next to me, bro. So, 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 that's already a minus on the Comfort Plus. I might as well just got main cabin. So, if no one's my pilot, I'm going to be mad. So, 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 so. I'm going to burn you! All right, we're going to go over there in a minute. We're going to go back and land. Oh, my God, I forgot. That's the one thing that's always a challenge for people. All right, I'm descending. My mental health is descending also. This is the part I crashed in every time in the simulator. Oh, God. Ah! We're going to land right there on top okay, of lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in. Oh, lock my in. God! Wait, oh. we're too close, right? Keep, oh. it, keep it pointed right down the middle. Oh, my God. Lock in, lock in, lock in. Keep your hands on. Lock in. Lock in. Just breathe. There we go. That boy certified. That, that boy is certified. Oh my goodness. There's no way, bro. His dad has to be a pilot. He was capping in, you know what I'm saying? He was capping in the simulator. There's no way he was just trying to get a little extra footage because there's no way they just trusted him to land that plane and they wasn't even scared, bro. You know what I'm saying? Buddy in the back was a little scared, but the but the but the co-pilot or the main pilot, he wasn't even scared a little bit, dude. I would have pissed him off. I landed a plane. Oh, my God. He said I couldn't do it, but we're still here. You didn't kill me. I was genuinely surprised that the job that pays $1 million is a year Denver's is smooth. hand modeling. But only if you're one of the highest paid hand models in the world. What did he just say? $1 million a year is hand modeling, but only if you're one of the highest paid hand models in the world. She makes five times the average salary of a doctor by letting people take photos of her hands, and her resume is stacked. Tap me She's in! She's hand modeled for almost any brand you've ever- Tap me in! Tap me in, though! Tap me her in, hands though! Her even insured for $1 million per hand. I can't wait to see this in action. So to start us off, she examined our hands. I didn't know that today was going to be the day that I'd find new insecurities. Okay, so immediately I can see the nails need work. Of course. Agreed. These hands suck. Okay. Look how much hair is here compared to Carl. Can I get paid more for that? The skin texture might be better here with these two. <laughs> Can you change me? I don't know if I can work miracles, he said he but <laughs> I haven't seen your hands yet, Jimmy. Your hands, like, glow. That's crazy. Why are your hands so glossy? <laughs> I don't know. Are my finger structures good? Uh, yeah. No, they're very good, actually. But, again, we've got cuticle issues, skin... Bro, tap me in with this job, bro. I don't... It could pay 100000 You know what I'm saying? If these hands can make me 100000 by just getting pictures of these, you know what I'm saying? Tap me in. I'm with it. Let me know what... All you gotta do is cut my nails. Throw some vaseline. Bro, if you throw some vaseline on top of these hands and cut my nails, bro, tap me in. 
here, but that can all be fixed. Our hands clearly needed work, so we had to prepare them to shoot, which was pretty easy for me and Carl. But for laser, not. That might be the first hand taper in history of tapers. So we had to prepare them to shoot, which was pretty easy for me and Carl. She's giving him a hand taper. You got a tip fade on your wrist. But for laser, not so much. Oh God, bro, you can make a rug out of all nah, that. That's hair. crazy. I ain't gonna <laughs> lie. This hair's been with me my whole life. But you gotta do what you gotta do if you wanna make a million dollars. And now that my hands are no longer disgusting, we're gonna model for an actual magazine. And these photos are literally gonna be shown on billboards all across America to promote these watches. <laughs> that's petrifying. Yeah, no, no pressure. Okay. I mean, the watch looks good. <laughs> I honestly thought this was gonna be easy, but we were actually horrible at this. It looks like the watch is on a snake. <laughs> Bro, this is so hard. Can I see the difference <laughs> with you? That boy said it's snake. Oh, what? Unreal. The product looks better because her hand doesn't. Let shake. me see what her hand looking like. Let me see what her hand looking like. What type of hand she got? Let me see. Let me look at Jimmy hand versus her hand. I ain't, if I kept it one million trillion billion, you know what I'm saying? If I kept it one trillion million billion, that boy Jimmy Hand looked better with the watch. I ain't even, I ain't even gonna lie to you, my boy. I, I would low key click on the, uh, the, the Jimmy. If it was like, which one looked better? I'm clicking on Jimmy. I ain't gonna lie. How y'all feel? Cause. I ain't gonna lie, her hand throwing me off. I think it's cause like her hand look older. It's like an older lady holding a watch, you know what I'm saying? Much. But being a hand model isn't all about wearing nice watches. Sometimes you have to model weird things. Why are you squirming? Cause I see a man holding a snake off camera. <laughs> <laughs> breathe, Carl, breathe. Put your other hand out here and kind of support his head. Yeah, of course I'll support. One Dead final boy. thing I need to throw in the- Dead boy. That boy voice like this, he said, don't put your other hand out here, and then you gonna support it with the other hand. Then you gon' then you gonna nicely, you know what I'm saying? Rub the snake's neck, and then you gon' like bro. Is Immortals of Avium, the sponsor of this video. Just hold that right there. Okay, perfect. Bro. Now he's modeling the watch, a snake, and this game. Yo, look at sponsor. that. That looks crazy. Immortals of Avium is a first-person magic shooter where you play as a battle mage named Jack trying to save the world, girl. Can he save me? <laughs> This time I need you to model the Xbox version of the game with the Scorpion. No way, bro. You want to grab between there Whoa. and here. Whoa! Is this- I was trying to- I was trying to not pay attention to the ad, you know? I mean, the, the little- the little paid advertisement. Then Buddy- Buddy gonna pull out a Scorpion, you know what I'm saying? He just gonna- he just gonna pull a Scorpion out his ass. Is safe for the animal? Yes. Perfect, perfect. Get it, get it, go, go, perfect, talk, talk, perfect. and go, uh, and talk about the game. You can sling 25 different types of magic spells and unlock 80 different talents to customize your character to suit your playstyle. Carl, you think Immortals of Avium are gonna love that photo? Immortals of Avium, I hope you love this. Just hold the scary animals, and then we get to join the NFL for our final job. The people who created Immortals Bro, what if of it Avium bites also helped make the award-winning campaigns of Halo, Call of Duty, and Dead Space. We love those campaigns. Oh, it's moving. And the coolest thing is, they put me in the game as a boss. And if you kill me in the game, you get more gold than any other boss the game gives you. Oh! Nice, nah, so I got you, I got you, just don't look. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I hate spiders. No, 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 get them out of here, please, 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 please. We gotta skip, I can't do spiders, I, I can't even look at them. I feel it under me, it's under my hand! We were doing such a bad job that we had the hand model step in to ensure the sponsor would approve of the photos. Oh, Click the link in the description if you wanna play Immortals of Avium right now. I'm retiring as a hand model. And even though our photos weren't great, we still got them on billboards all what? across the country. I thought and was now happy. it's finally time for the job that pays $10 million per year. That's right, I'm about to literally join the NFL. Nah, this, this is, is literally my This is different. Jimmy on the Bucks is tough. And if you think this is all fake, here I am signing a real contract to become a literal player for the Buccaneers what? worth $10 million. It might say we're not going to pay it, but it at least says that dollar amount. No, no, focus on the dollar amount. And now it's official. Congratulations. Damn. So for the next 48 hours, I'm officially a player. You are officially a player. I promise I won't let you down. I promise he will let you down. <laughs> Bro, why does everybody in this video got deep? You are officially a player. Like, get y'all love. With my contract, I'm gonna be running out with the team on the field in front of 60,000 fans. This is a real game? The first step is weight training. It might be too light. Let's go up, let's yeah, go up. Easy. I don't actually oh think God. they're paying me the 10 million. struggle? Are you a winner? 
Okay, Mr. Beast been in the gym. Yeah. I've noticed they yell at you a lot when you're an NFL player. Can that you boy. set it to whatever the strongest player on your team does? I'm gonna see if I can do what? That boy Beast been in the gym. He can do 12 of these? Holy crap. He's not a normal human. Uh, I would hate to be hit by him. One more, four, yeah. four. Good boy. Easy. Oh, come on. Come on. Woo. Ah. Why is the NFL so hard? Ugh. How does this compare to their typical workouts? Pretty pathetic. Hopefully they'll hey, I this. ain't gonna lie, bro. I could probably be in the NFL. I ain't gonna lie. That stuff look little. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm really like a meathead when it comes to like, you know what I'm saying? Lifting in the weight room. I really get to it. So, if y'all ever need a wide receiver, let me know. Let me know. I'm like DeAndre Hopkins and a little bit of, you know what I'm saying? Reggie old school Wayne, you know what I'm saying? Put us together. I'm that type. Let me know. It will. You get used to it. Okay. Up next was my first practice at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers training facility. So naturally, I met my coach. Oh, Mr. Beast. How's it going? How you doing? So good. good. And my new teammates. Nice to meet you, man. My name's Shaq. My kids love you. I love your videos. Oh, really? The candy bars, the car old gummies. Up Y'all ready? Yeah. And my new teammates couldn't believe I actually signed with the team, so I showed them my contract to prove it. Is this the same one you guys signed? I think you got more money than me, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you read, it says, unless it's canceled in 48 hours, we're still going to cancel. Uh, yeah, yeah, look at uh, the five parentheses grand. for sure. Hey, you're official. Welcome to I know, thank you. Hey, my hey, new teammates over here. Up. These guys make us look like children. They're so big. Look at the size comparison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, honest, bye. I've never played football before. So they threw me on as kicker, which Ooh. oh, I was terrible at. Mr. Beast, we need you out. We gotta get ready for tomorrow. You're right, you're right, you're right. Bro, oh. you know it would be so tough if they actually let him kick one in the game? Dude, that would be insane. That would legit be insane. And since I've never played quarterback before either, uh, I, I just threw one up as far as I could. Oh! Oh! That's touchdown! In case you didn't know, the team I just joined is the same team Tom Brady won the Super Bowl with. So I thought it'd be funny to surprise him. Oh, we got him! Tom! Oh, I almost got hit. TB, what's up, baby? What's up, TB? What's up, bro? I have a friend here who that boy might literally TB. die of happiness if you say no, hi to him. You can't do this to me. You yes, can't do this to me. Oh, I'm dead! <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> After that, our practice just evolved into shenanigans. I, ah, little man! Oh, oh, three, hey, two small. Yeah. You can go back to filming. Yeah, all right, guys. Let's see you some people still had some questions about my two-day contract. So afterwards, the Bucks set up a press conference for me. Dog, this is low-key tough. Buddy is getting a press conference? Oh, nah, yeah. I'm, big game. I'm expecting very serious questions only. Is this just a publicity stunt? Why are you really here? <laughs> make the best video possible? Yes, it's a publicity stunt. I clearly am not an NFL player. Jimmy, how does it feel being on a new team? It feels great. To be honest, they've accepted me way more than I thought. <laughs> how much playing time are you expecting? Uh, none. And after explaining over and over again that it's just a stunt, I went to go get measured. Wait, wait, wait. Is that a real, was that a real press conference? No, that's that that might be top. That might be top two, bro. Six four and a half. Carl, you're six five. I'm six five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six four. These measurements are key, so that my gear and my <laughs> uniform are. Mr. All Beast is not here. six four, bro. <laughs> this actually looks so good. There we go. And now that I'm suited up, it's time for the official game day. I still don't know why they're letting me do this, but hey, yeah, this looks crazy. Are you surprised they let me join the team? Yeah. That's my first football I've ever signed. Oh, Jimmy's about to come out any second now. Right they say if you get up by 100, I can play a play. Do me a favor and get up super high. It's his first game and probably his last. It'd be Definitely insane if he last. got in the game. How is this happening? And since this is the only NFL game I'll ever be a part of, the team actually let me lead them out the tunnel. Let's go, boys! Bro, everybody subscribe, man. I'm trying to get 20 mil on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Why not? I might join the Dolphins. You know what I'm saying? I might just join the Dolphins. Fuck it. Fuck it. I might just join the Dolphins. Fuck it. Is this the best day of your life? This is the best day of my life, Jimmy. I love you. We're getting passed by the players. Jimmy's an NFL player. Oh! How's it going? Let's go, boys. I won't let you guys down, even though I probably won't get played down. Let's play football! Nah, this is tough. 
Huge shout out to the Buccaneers for making me an official NFL player. It's honestly a good thing I didn't play because if they hit me, I probably would have died. And I thought <laughs> it was all over there until the Falcons made fun of me on Twitter. So in retaliation, I'm going to nuke their stadium. We just gonna end it on that. That boy just took them out. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, like, comment, subscribe. Hey, I'm back, yo. You know what I'm saying? So comment what y'all want me to react to. I got y'all. Hey, I'm back every day a month straight. I got videos a month straight. I'm not missing.